to 22. Should WWE be worried about AEW coming off the successful event of Double or Nothing this past Saturday? It's been a lot of buzz going on in the wrestling world. When AEW had that event, people were wondering how would Raw look like after seeing AEW. And as expected, we didn't really get nothing much from W. And I expected it because... Really, it's a holiday show, and we always hear that on holidays, W ratings decline when it comes to a holiday event. So now we have Raw the next Monday and the Mondays after. And will the W try to be different because of the sets of AEW? Which is no. AEW, for them to scare the W, had to start in October when the weekly television show debut. I do believe AEW will draw a million viewers. They're going to get a 1.2, 1.3. Now, if they get in the twos from the first episode, then I'm happy. I am excited if that happened right there. Now, the WWE, this man, they do notice AEW. And the reason why Sami Zayn mentioned AEW. Now, there's a report that it was scripted. And it wasn't scripted. They took it off the uh, YouTube channel. And more than likely, they're going to take off the Hulu one. But WWE, they just scripted that. They just want to get on with that vibe that they want to get fans talking what's scripted or not. So the W are noticing AEW because that's why this man offering all of these, these kind of extensions more money to keep unhappy talent so they don't go to another company. This man... Is no longer up for competition at the age of what, 74 years old. This man is so successful, he's done it with WCW. This is not up for competition. So, yes, they should be worried because I'm saying the W is not ready for competition. Because if the W pretended this company never existed, Sami Zayn never says that. You never hear these rumors about certain talents don't want to resign because of the money that's offered for them. It's more about their happiness. And they are not getting that with the W investment man. So, finally, the wrestling business can have a legit number two threat. W never treated AEW like they treated TNA. They finally acknowledged TNA really when Kurt Angle came back to WWE. And by that time, TNA was no longer a possible threat like we always thought it could be down the line. So, I'm glad AEW is around here. I know AEW is a brand new promotion. It's going to take time. A lot of people going over the top saying they're going to pay the W real soon. They have a lot of hardcore fans, of course. AEW is for the hardcore family, but look at the WWE people. The WWE ratings have been going down for the longest. And I already been said that the hardcore fans, the outspoken fans, they don't mean nothing to ratings. At one point, I can agree with that because the ratings were better a couple years ago. But now the WWE can't get in the threes. So, who are the current fans in the W part of the day? How much casual fans is it? How much Harper fans is it? But more than likely, it's more of the Harper fans watching W than the casuals watching W. Because I'll be totally shocked if it's really just more casual fans that do not care about the other stuff like I do, online, get mad. Because the W still had those fans. Remember the episode of Raw? They didn't know none of the NXT talents. They didn't give them no type of reaction. So those fans are still out there. But the percentage of those fans like that, that night on Raw, I've got where they was at. I think they had locked yet. My guess. How many fans are like that watching the television product? And how much of the hardcore fan base are watching the television product? Now, of course, at the end of the day, you already had your hardcore fans still watch your product the most. So I'm going to have to say, a lot of the W only still they still are hardcore fans. Now they probably not the hardcore fan that you know that get on dirt sheets complain, check out rumors. You could it's two different parts of a hardcore fan. You could be a hardcore fan, just buy merch all the time, going every show. That's a hardcore fan. But you could be that hardcore fan and not be like a hardcore fan like me and others that, you know, the ones that like, you know, watch guys travel the world, work other promotions, stuff like that. So all different parts of hardcore fans. So, in 2019, how fast can AEW catch the WWE? A lot of people say it won't be that long. And more than likely, I could be wrong because I'm the one that's saying it's going to take a long time. But I could be wrong because 
the wrestling fan base declined over the years. And now with TNT around, you promote it. They said they can promote it like crazy. Social media, you get a lot of fans who do not watch W anymore. I watch um, YouTube comments. Kind of, he'll be like, you know, I stopped watching 2013. I stopped watching 2014 because it's bad. Now I want new, new promotion around. Those same fans say, you know, I don't watch W anymore. I'm going to take a look at AEW. And now they know that competition is bad because these probably the same fans was around for WCW. They probably wasn't around in 1997, but they probably around in 1999. Who knows? Or they just know the history of the Monday Night Wars of WWE and WCW. They say, you know what? Well, now I can watch both products, and I probably could be part of a new era of two companies going head to head. So, so much good stuff that AEW has for them being on TNT. You get all the fans that cannot stand WWE. And I actually want to give WWE a chance because they know another company in the realm. Like, I listen to Solo Monster. And then people call on the show like, yeah, I don't watch Raw SmackDown, but I still listen to the show to find out what's going on in the WWE. Those Sam and Zach fans that say, you know what, now AEW around, I got the AEW chance, and I get Raw and SmackDown a chance, and I can see what's going on. Because I bet a lot of fans who are not watching WWE want to see what W doing with AEW around. Because who don't want to watch an upcoming company seeing can light a fire under the WWE? And that's the number one thing about AEW being around. It can get fans who are not interested no more say, you know what? I can actually make a rest for a while and see what's going to happen because I could be part of something that's special. I was around a time of WCW versus um, W Raw. And it was amazing. I was part of that glory era. And now, uh, brand new fans today, like AEW, they get those casual fans, turn them to hardcore fans. They can be part of possibly another gold era. So, AEW is going to have the W worry. They are. Even though W got a large lead, you know, they got a lot of money, uh, you know, like sorry rape, stuff like that. But, AEW has billionaires backing them. The son, Tony Khan, is a huge wrestling fan, like I said in my last video. So, yes, they are where Vincent Man, he noticed they are around. And Vincent Man, as of right now, is not ready to show on television that he worry about them. But behind the scenes, Vincent Man is worried about AEW. Because by the time AEW weekly show began, I believe... The W product will get better, and people will want to tune in the product to see what's going on because they want to see. Are they trying to prove the company sent AEW out? I don't believe fans want to watch Raw weekly just to say, you know what? It's been a while since I watched it. I want to see what's going on now. No, I believe since they know AEW's around, they want to see the Raw and SmackDown make any changes. For me, start watching the system like I used to when the product was good at one point. So give me your thoughts on the video right here about should W be worried about AEW? I say yes. Do I say no? Let me know in the comment section. Uh, of course, you can hit the like button. I got to bring it up more often. Hit the like button. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button. I'm out. Peace.